Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer channel episode. Please subscribe for all the latest channel uploads. Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer channel episode. And this episode is a little bit different and I wasn't really sure how to make this video, um, what to do with this video, because it's the 20th anniversary of Diana, Princess of Wales's death today, the 31st of August 2017. Uh, and of course thinking back to the 31st of August 1997 when the world suffered a tragic loss. And as I was saying, you know, I think lots of other YouTube channels or, you know, Facebook groups will all be having lots of compilation montages of memories and photos and I wasn't quite sure I wanted to do that and I just thought I'd just like to have a bit of a chat, a little bit of a chat about Diana, what she meant to me, um, ask some questions, what she meant to you, and then maybe we could just have a really nice discussion on this video in the comments section, you know, and just spending that time remembering her, what she meant to you. The princes will mark the anniversary of Diana's death privately. It's unknown where exactly they are residing, whether they're still at Kensington Palace or whether the Cambridges have gone to Anmer Hall, which is of course their country retreat. So we don't exactly know where they are. Yesterday they were seen at the White Garden, which has been dedicated to Diana and replanted with all white flowers. It's open to the general public, so if you're in the area and you want to go along and see that garden, please do, it looks fabulous. It was raining yesterday, and so they had all their big umbrellas out, but it still looked gorgeous and the weather has much improved today. Uh, well, it certainly has in Shropshire where I am, which is why I've got my, my sunglasses on. And I'm in my greenhouse, just in case you didn't know. Um, why not? Why not be in my greenhouse? I wanted to remember a little bit about that day in 1997. So my first question for you guys is, where were you when you heard the news? I personally woke up to the news. I think I was about 15 in 1997. So I woke up to the news. It was a Sunday morning and I think it was a Sunday morning and uh, I went into my parents bedroom the news was on and by that time news had broke and of course I remember just feeling generally really sad and it was a really a really weird feeling one that I didn't really understand because why would I feel palpable real tangible grief for someone that I'd never met and that I was probably never going to meet um, but yet the grief felt real and I think that's what you know when you see you know images or video footage of people wailing and crying out um, laying flowers outside Kensington Palace and Buckingham Palace I mean I wasn't that bad um, you know I didn't sort of have to wail and shout but it was real tangible grief that people felt and I think that was you know unthinkable for a lot of people that had never happened before and I think it was the one of the first times a public figure had passed away and really left a mark and you know really left an impression on people. I think that was the mark of Diana and how special she was. She had that really magic special touch that could reach into people's souls and of course when she passed it was a real loss, a real loss for people. So please let me know in the comment section where you were or how you found out, where you were when you found out and how you felt when you found out. I would like to mention a few months ago there was a rededication, uh, a private rededication of Diana's burial site at Allthorpe, which is where she's buried on the Oval. So that was all, that's all been renovated and looks really good now. There was a rededication there, a private ceremony where George and Charlotte also attended. I'd also like to know your favourite best memory of Diana. So let me know in the comment section. It could be, you know, a favourite dress she wore and a favourite event she went to. It could even, even be a favourite charity that you remember her doing work for. You know, it could be a funny moment. Just share with me and everyone else in the comment section your favourite moment. Also, I'd like to know your memories of her funeral. What did you think when you heard the Elton John singing Candle in the Wind, Goodbye England's Rose. Um, I think that was one of the most poignant moments for me. Also, I'd like to know what you think about the documentaries that have gone out this month, or over the last couple of months, I should say. 
about Diana, did you think they struck the right tone? Um, I really enjoyed the ones where the princes had direct involvement, but I wasn't so keen on the others. I think there was a lot of raking over the past and not enough sharing memories. I actually really wanted to see memories of Diana from the people who knew her, family, friends, staff, you know, anyone who actually had something to do with Diana, I really wanted um, to hear from. So let me know in the comments section what you thought about those documentaries. Also, I'd like to know what does Diana's legacy mean to you? The Diana Award has recently been rebranded. I, I did make a video on that, so, so do go and check that out. What does Diana's legacy mean to you? We know that she was supporting six charities at the time of her death. Those charities were invited to the White Guard to meet with Prince William and Harry. Her legacy is still going on. Her sons are still championing her causes, HIV AIDS, homelessness and of course the new sort of mental health initiative which which the princes and, and Catherine think um, and probably rightly so go through all the different issues that we face so what does Diana's legacy mean to you and also how did Diana change the monarchy uh, we know that the monarchy is a lot more relatable post Diana and certainly you know if you look back 25 years how much the monarchy has changed they're more reachable, more touchable, more accessible. I think that's a result of Diana and what her legacy brings to the table. I hope you've enjoyed this video. As I said, I didn't want to do lots of gushing photographs. I, if you want those types of videos, I am sure they will be out there. But I just wanted this video to be a chance for you to share your memories and discuss with other people that have a like-minded view or even if you don't have the same view, just to have a conversation about Diana. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and please leave a comment and answer some of the questions which I've put to you. From me in Shropshire, goodbye. Thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, then please leave a like, comment and share on social media. Don't forget to subscribe for all the latest channel uploads. From me in Shropshire, goodbye.